Hello everybody, Flaming Shark back with another video, and this is the review to my blind commentary, blind reaction to Hunter Hunter episodes 86 to 88. So another three episode set. Next one will be three episodes as well, but then we're gonna start getting some bigger sets after we get through episode 91. But uh, yeah, for now, this is episodes 86 to 88, which means we are officially only 60 episodes away from finishing Hunter x Hunter. 88 down, 60 to go. So uh, we're definitely making progress. You know, we've been quite consistent. Hopefully this is day three of an upload streak because um, my Kill a Kill, which was supposed to go up on September 29th, is going to have to go up on September 30th because I was having upload issues. But on the day that I recorded Kill a Kill, I also recorded Distant Lands, so I actually got a day ahead that day. Um, and then because of my uploading issues on this day, which is the 29th, which is the day I recorded my reaction and I'm recording this review as well, I recorded Hunter x Hunter. So now, on the 30th, I'm going to be posting Kill a Kill, but I still I have the videos for the first for the first two days of October ready in distant lands and hunter hunter so i'm gonna be two days ahead of my reactions which is gonna work out really well um normally i probably wouldn't be recording this following day because i'm gonna be really busy but i'm only just recording my opener to bake monogatari which is only gonna be two episodes so it's very likely that that's actually gonna work out really well and i'm probably gonna be able to get that done so i'm probably gonna stay two days ahead and hopefully by the time you guys see this i'm still two days ahead but who knows or maybe even more you never know but uh... getting ahead of my reactions is you know the, the without a doubt the easiest way for me to maintain daily uploads and hopefully this is day three of a streak that's gonna maybe even rival the last one we had because we've been kind of posting every other day lately for quite a while now ever since that we've kind of been posting every other day for a while and I'm hoping that the kill the kill video has been the start of a streak that hopefully is at three now with kill a kill adventure time and hunter hunter and continues on through to Baki Monogatari and Ben 10 and you know back to kill a kill and back to uh Rick and Morty and hunter hunter and so on and so forth but um yeah, this was an interesting set of Hunter. I think this was one of the weakest of the arc so far. Um, and I don't even say that as a bad thing. Again, I talk about it in the video. Episode 85 so far for me was the height of the Chimera Ant arc. And I think it was kind of nice to come off of that with like a balance. I, I feel like... Um, it feels like we're starting the second part or the second stage of the Chimera Ant arc. It feels like the first, um, what was it? The first, uh, I believe, 10 episodes, right? Um, let's see. Three, seven. Yes, the first 10 episodes. So 76 to 85 felt like the first stage potentially of, I mean, if, it's, if, it, if they're all kind of the same group, you'd say six stages because it's 61 episodes, but potentially, you know, three, four, five, six, however many kind of stages there are to the arc. The first 10 episodes felt like the first stage of the arc and 85 was the climax of that first part of Chimera Ant. And it was insane because it might have been my favorite episode of the entire series. And this was just the climax to me of the first part of God knows how many parts of this massive arc. So that was amazing. Um, you know, I mean, there were some episodes, like I said, York New has some episodes I absolutely love. Uh, Greed Island had a few really cool ones, although overall I would say that might be my least favorite arc. I'm not entirely sure. It probably comes down to Greed Island versus Hunter Exam, but I feel like Hunter Exam gets some passes for being literally the first arc of the series. Um... And I think structurally, there's a lot of things I like about that arc. Um, and I don't say that as a bad thing either. When I say Greed Island, personally for me, is probably my weakest arc. I'm, I say that more from the point of, I really like this show. There isn't a bad arc, so I have to pick the one that I like the least. And obviously, I'm not counting Chimera Ant, because I can't judge that anytime soon. But as far as, if we just throw away Zoldic because it's so short, even though I loved it. If we just say Hunter, Heaven's Arena, our Hunter Exam, Heaven's Arena, York New, and uh, Greed Island, I would probably go York New 1, Heaven's Arena 2. Then it's close, but I'd probably say Hunter Exam 3, Greed Island 4. That's my personal ranking, I think. Um... 
Obviously, I'm going to need to rewatch the show, which I will probably do um, shortly after I finish the show. I might even start it like when I finish Chimera Ann or something, but uh, I'm definitely going to rewatch the show probably pretty shortly after I finish my reactions. Um, you know, I I normally don't do that with a series. Usually when I finish a reaction series, I uh, like to go away from that show for a while and then kind of come at it with like a fresh perspective and watch it much quicker. Cause obviously when you don't have to record and everything, I can just chill in my bed, grab my phone and watch Hunter. Right. So it's like, it's, you know, there's a lot of ways where I can watch it and I can watch it very quickly, which, um, obviously if I didn't do reaction videos, I will, I would have probably have seen a very unhealthy amount of anime. And, uh, in that, in that sense, I'm kind of happy because, it gives me the slow journey into weebdom. That's not really a term, but my journey in becoming a, I guess you could say more like hardcore anime fan is very prolonged and slow. Like I would have become a crazy anime fan that would have seen fucking everything a long time ago. But because I do these videos, I get to experience it slowly and I get to slowly savor and be introduced to these amazing shows at a pace that I really enjoy because it means that more or less for years and years, there's always going to be more of this just incredible shit out there. You know, I've gotten to introduce myself to so many amazing series slowly, but surely, you know, I've, you know, there was a time where I was doing Code and Full Metal. There was a time where I was doing Ava, Cowboy Bebop, um, Stein's Gate. You know, currently I'm doing Kill a Kill. You know, Hunter Hunter's amazing. And, you know, I'm going to be, I'm about, I'm literally, literally the next video after this will be the open to Monogatari, which certainly, certainly has the vibe, just based on the conversations that I've heard from people, that it could be the type of show that could be one of my favorites. Um, obviously, I don't know anything about it. Well, I know one thing about it, actually, and I will mention that at the beginning of my first Monogatari reaction. I know one tiny thing, which, uh, I mean, I would have figured out pretty fast, I imagine, but, it, you know, and I I will say, like I said, I, I always, when I start a series, I always want to go into anything that I know that's a spoiler. I wouldn't call it a spoiler per se, but I do know one thing about the Monogatari series, and honestly, that is one of the things that has me really hyped about it, but we'll get to that in the next video. Um, but I'm so excited for that series. Uh, you know, we're going to be doing... Um, well, it's still the 29th, but at the time this video comes out, I imagine Ass Class won the poll. Um, if it didn't, then, uh, damn, something came last second and just went insane, but I think that's highly unlikely. Um, but if I did get a bunch of votes and a bunch of, uh, <laughs> Patreon subscriptions for something last second, I guess I wouldn't complain about that, um, because I guess that just means a little more cash to, uh, potentially put into things like a new computer and new monitor because that's where the money came from like literally that patreon money that you guys have been helping me out with um literally did nothing for months and months and months was just thrown in the bank and like i said i'm managing to kind of just as like i said especially with everything i'm managing to barely get by with what i have going outside of um the channel and I don't have a lot of cash, but I have, at least for the time being, I have just enough and to where I could save the Patreon money for something that I could use for the channel. And that's why I bought this big boy or big girl, this big computer over here. And I have a monitor that's coming eventually. And I'm super excited about having better equipment for things that I want to do in the new in the near future so it's just it's just it's just so exciting I, I I'm always excited about the YouTube stuff but I feel like this is the most excited I've been because I feel like the reaction thing is just going the way I want it to like obviously I'm having little frustrations here and there but I just feel like I'm delivering and I'm making you guys happy and it's just going to be great, so I'm really excited about all of it. So, the way I'm going to do it, 
um, is going to be really fun. I'm just hoping that this continues and that this is just the new norm. And I'm hoping that that kind of run of like every other day is kind of basically the baseline of my content where it's like I'm always posting that much or more. As I, as I always say, I deem consistency for my type of videos, of course, be, as every other day or better. My goal is to give you content every other day. And then if I can give you more than that, then that's even better. But I'm always trying to get you a video once every two days. And then I, you know, the, the best. So the worst is me every other day and the best is me every day. But so it's basically, I guess the best way to put it is one to two videos every two days. But uh, yeah, I didn't talk about these episodes much. Um, there really wasn't a lot to talk about. They were pretty good. Uh, Bisky showed up. That was hot. We also met Palm. She's amazing. Uh, and we met Shoot and... Yeah, Shoot McMahon. What a name. And what the hell is the name of the main guy, though? The guy with the freaking, I think, Jojo hair. I, I, I keep calling him Jojo Boy, but, like, I'm going to get this comment that, like, this guy looks nothing like any Jojo character. And that might be true, because... <laughs> I'm gonna find out after Hunter Hunter, yay! <laughs> but uh, obviously, I don't know yet. But I, you know, I've seen like random memes and little shots and stuff. But I, I'm so excited for JoJo, man! I don't know shit about JoJo, and that to me, that that feels like a dream come true. Honestly, that's probably gonna be the perfect series for me. Um, but yeah, anyways, I don't know. This is just random rambles, which a lot of my reviews are, but. You know, I guess it's fine. But anyways, uh, links are down below in the description. Hopefully there's a breach link. Hopefully there's a mega link. Hopefully there's a streamable link. I can't tell you what there is going to be, but I assume that's what there's going to be. If not, I imagine for sure there's definitely at least one of those, and there's almost definitely two of those. But anyways, uh, Flame and Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a wonderful, fantastical day, and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching. Peace.